A common complaint about street photography that comes from outside the community a lot is that it can feel exploitative. Now these photos are from a series by a photographer who is documenting drunken salarymen in Tokyo, and I'm covering up their identities here, obviously. He said he was doing this to show how they're exploited and can't, you know, turn down drinks with their boss if asked after work. Which this is clearly a valid story to tell people being exploited. Is this the best way to do it? I don't know. Now I want to contrast this with images from Vivian Mayer because there's a big difference here, even though these photos are also done without the subject's permission or consent. So this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately, is that these photos weren't seen for 50 plus years after they were taken, whereas the other photos were taken recently and also published recently. Street photographers, would you still do what you were doing if your photos wouldn't be published for another 5, 10, 20 years? And people who don't like street photography, would you feel better about it if more time passed than it's more historical? 